Welcome back to Hash Rate Up Focus. Today, I want to talk about what it costs to mine one Bitcoin. Very often, I see ads from hosting providers online that will claim that it only costs about forty-five, fifty, sixty-five thousand dollars, depending on the machine, to mine one Bitcoin. Today, I would like to explain why I think that that is a little bit of a marketing gimmick, and I want to run you again through the numbers of how I believe this should be calculated. Hash rate up. Hardware sales, advisory, hosting, and site brokerage. Find new and used ASIC deals through the website and the Telegram channel below. Make smarter decisions with hash rate up. All right, so I made a LinkedIn post not too long ago, which got a bit of traction. And obviously, the 95,000 number is a lot less attractive than 55,000 sounds. But of course, we have to work with the real numbers to avoid any disappointments, right? So the way I see things is the following. Let's say you buy an ASIC S21 Pro right around $3,750 once it's finally delivered. Now, the term here is important right? 36 months. That's often longer than a typical hosting contract, but I've seen people run machines for this long. So this is what I'm assuming here. And I also want, don't want to be too negative. Um, and obviously the shorter the duration here, the more expensive it becomes because you're depreciating the asset over a shorter time frame. Let's assume maintenance cost of about $375. 1% of your CapEx is a good figure. The hash rate is 234, power consumption 3.5 kilowatts. We're hosting at 0 0.075 cents. This is our current hash price, our sets per day, right? So this is the amount of sets we are mining every day with the miner that we have. This is our revenue essentially, right? Our joules per tera hash, our efficiency, how much energy are we spending per tera hash? Is that 15 joules? And then our electricity cost per day is around, don't get confused here, this is a, this is a decimal separator, $6.318 or $6 per day that it costs us to run the miner. Right. So now, if we add the electricity cost per day plus the machine and depreciation over that 36 time frame, 36 months time frame, now we have 3.8 plus 6.3 per day in cost, meaning a total cost of $10.1 or a cost to mine a Bitcoin of about $107,742, which is actually very close to break even and not a great scenario. Let's say we get the miner for a bit cheaper, right? 3,500 bucks. Now that number goes down because obviously we're spending less money. If we now say, okay, our hash price is actually not that terrible. You said, come on, like, don't be too gloomy, right? So we're going to increase this to 45 sets per day per terahash. Now <clears throat> that obviously increases sharply. This episode is sponsored by Hashbranch, the easiest way to mine Bitcoin in the US. Sourcing hardware and rack space usually is a mess. Bad deal structures, misaligned incentives, and no visibility after deployment. I have placed tens of thousands of ASICs in partnership with Hashbranch. What I like most is that they cut through the noise. Fair pricing, aligned terms, and access to hosting that actually works. Use code HashRateUp100, visit hashbranch.com today to get $100 off of each miner that you order. Now, let's have a look. We've explained the hash price before. Currently, we are sitting, switch this to Terahash, move me out of the way, uh, about 42 sets per Terahash per day, right? So if we go back here and enter the 42, now it's about 100, right? So obviously, it depends very, very, very much how much you spend on your machine. And then it also depends on where hash price is. Well, you cannot expect hash price to increase on average over your hosting period a lot, right? This is a number that we've previously explained tends to trend downwards quite systematically and therefore your revenue is kind of locked in. So you have to make sure that you get the machine for cheap and you also don't spend too much on repairs. But this is kind of where things are at. Now, this includes machine price, obviously. And in my opinion, you have to, right? You cannot 
sit here and say it costs me $55,000 to mine a Bitcoin and not include the machine price. That's a bit like renting a car and driving from A to B and saying it only costs the, the cost of the fuel to get from A to B. No, you had to buy, you had to rent the car. There's mileage on it. If it's your own, there's depreciation. You, you, know, you have wear and tear. All of this stuff matters and has to be included. So if you understand what your total cost is, and what your sets is per day that you are generating your revenue. If you divide the two, now you understand what your cost is to mine one Bitcoin. If you still want to host and run a miner, even if it costs you quite a bit more than um, others might make you believe, let me know. I'm here to answer all the questions. I'm happy to share this spreadsheet. Also, if you're interested, let me know. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscription. I hope you enjoyed this short video and the explanation. And yeah, see you next time. Have a good day.